Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Thomas Park. Welcome back to another video. I wanted to make this video in case you are having issues with Cyberpunk, maybe even just your PS5 controller, because I've had this issue and there's actually a number of steps that are not too hard to do, but in conjunction with each other, can be very confusing. So in this video, I'm gonna be discussing how to get your DualSense controller working with your PC uh, with the haptic feedback features you would expect on your PS5. Hey guys, if you like this video and this troubleshooting helps you, consider checking out some of my sponsors here on the channel. Surfshark is an excellent product that includes data removal. So this is a great feature that will prevent you from getting docs via their service called Incogni that is included with their best choice package. Additionally, TorGuard VPN, one of the highest rated VPNs on the channel, is also very good and you've probably heard about its reliability, customizability, and various options. So either one is a great pick if you're looking to increase your privacy game on the internet click my links in the description down below to help support the channel uh, as you can see here we have the orange uh, kind of indicator light as it's kind of like charging I think or something like that um, but really one of the key features I kind of wanted to talk about is this USB cable now I do believe this USB cable um, is the one that came with the PS5 specifically and this is what caused me a lot of issues if you're just using any generic USB cable, USB-C to USB-A or whatever, um, that's just kind of generic, it might not be good enough or have enough data transfer capability. So when I would plug this in to the computer, it actually wouldn't register the controller. Um, but an another issue I had is that I was connecting to the controller from Bluetooth, um, which does not give you the haptic ability feedback. So I was having multiple issues at the same time pretty much. One is the controller is connected to Bluetooth and two, the cable I was using was not capable of even delivering connection to this controller. So that is one thing you need to figure out. However, that said, that's only one issue. Another issue I had um, once I got that resolved was that Steam automatically had selected an input for Cyberpunk or maybe whatever game you're looking to play. Now, what exactly am I talking about here? Well, I'll go ahead and show you. What you basically do is go to a game, you right click, and then you're gonna wanna go to, uh, you want to go to the properties, I do believe. And here you go to controller, and you wanna make sure to disable Steam input. So for a game like Cyberpunk 77, it's not gonna input a PS5 controller natively unless you do this. If you do not do this, it's going to use its kind of Xbox or default gamepad settings, and it's therefore going to make it so you are going to have a standard controller input and standard vibrations, and not the advanced kind of dual sense kind of cool haptics that you'll really need. This is very important. So that could be an, uh, an issue. It can override the controller's input in the game, which would therefore take away the haptic feedback ability. So even though my controller was registered, and being controlled on the PC, it was only acting like a normal controller. Another issue I had is that the controller switched my audio settings on my PC to be played from the audio from the controller. Um, so you don't want to do that either. And I do believe there might even be setting in certain games to have audio be played back from the controller, at least like peripheral audio, not the main source of audio. So that's also something you kind of need to think about. Um, let me try to think about if there's any other things I might've missed. Well, another thing is, is that some games just don't really have the support for it. I know Cyberpunk just barely added haptic support for the PS5 controller on PS5 with the 2.1 update was only in the last month. Previously, you had to mod it in order to get it to do that. So lastly, you do kind of want to make sure the game that you're trying to do does support it since not every game does. That's another variable that makes it very confusing. So in conclusion, here are the steps you need to do. Number one, make sure you have a very good USB cable that supports data charging. Uh, I think I'm going to be testing out this one on Amazon I found. It's a scuff cable, which means it's made by a pretty premium controller brand. And it's probably going to work pretty well. Um, stuff to say, you just don't want to use any generic um, cord since it might not work with your PS5 controller. Number two, make sure Bluetooth is disabled since haptic feedback is not supported on Bluetooth. Number three, make sure the Steam input is disabled for certain games um, that might cause issues, especially for something like Cyberpunk. Number four, make sure the game, of course, is supported. And this can be a tricky one, um, but I know at least Cyberpunk 2027 should be working with the PS5 controller's haptic input. 
You also might want to disable some of the controller settings in Steam because this could also cause interference as well. And I can put that on the screen right now. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to make this uh, this little guide here to help you out. Short but quick and simple guide since I've been having this issue and I haven't really seen any good resources on it. So let me know if this helped you down in the comments down below. And I'll see you again very soon.